and what a relief for Chris Turner, the Hartlepool manager. Pointless before the weekend, but 90 minutes at Brunton Park changed all that. When the ball eventually settled, Chris Freeston kept his cool head and Carlisle keeper Luke Weaver couldn't get near the shot. Carlisle, of course, had scrambled to survival at Scarborough's expense in the dying moments of last season. Freestone's persistence in chasing the cause made sure they're in trouble again this time around. Poole's climb off the bottom of the Football League was complete five minutes later when Tommy Miller was sent clear. That's how you do it, over the top maybe, but the first point of the season gave the Hartlepool fans a rare away day bonus. Don't speak too soon, but Hartlepool's fortunes appear to be on the up. Following last weekend's superb derby victory over Darlington, Sam Shilton and Gary Jones carved out the opening for Tommy Miller to slice home pools first. And Chris Turner's men secured their third consecutive win at Victoria Park when sub Chris Freestone, who'd only been on the pitch a matter of minutes, refused to take no for an answer. It was a case of don't speak too soon at Victoria Park. The first half was dire and the second half seemed destined to remain goalless, though Sam Shilton tried hard to break the deadlock. Lucas Neal performing the goal line heroics 10 minutes from the end. A replay loomed, but Poole had an FA Cup trick still up their sleeves. Shilton's corner was momentarily cleared out of the box. Millwall, though, were caught napping. Gary Jones heading home just seconds from the whistle. Cue some wild celebrations. Hartlepool 1, Millwall 0. The match ball sponsors of Victoria Park were no doubt presented with a spare ball instead afterwards because Hartlepool midfielder Tommy Miller kept the real one. He scored all the goals as Pools continued an impressive home run against third division leaders Barnet. Miller's speciality of the evening was the first time right foot of finish. It worked for him twice. Hartlepool were well on their way to a sixth home win on the bounce and yet another clean sheet. Goal number three was all Miller's own making, twisting his way into the box and beating keeper Lee Harrison on its near post. The Hartlepool hero's personal tally is now eight for the season. Tommy Miller three, Barnett nil. Hartlepool equaled a club record with this result on Saturday lunchtime. Seven home wins on the trot without conceding a goal. The highly rated Tommy Miller bagged the winner at Fortress Victoria. Now, what is it about Hartlepool and cock-ups? Chris Turner's side have had gaffes of plenty over the past few weeks, and Saturday was no exception. Nothing comical about Chris Priest-Sopner, though. But talk about gifting Macclesfield their second. Martin Hollins blasted the ball into Graham Lee, and, well, Richie Barker had the easiest of tasks from six yards. Ian Clark pulled one back from the penalty spot after the restart, but Poole were soon trailing again by two goals. Once again, it was from a corner, Holland indecisive, and it was John Askey with the finishing touch. He won down with six minutes to go, and surely Hartlepool couldn't pull the rabbit out of the hat. What they did, a powerful header from Graham Lee made amends for his previous error, and right at the death, Ian Clark put on his magician's hat and bagged a brace to share the points at Moss Rose. Hartlepool Anderson was centre state. First, opening the scoring on the half-hour mark. Paul then hit the post, but conceded just before the hour. A quality strike, too, from substitute Barry Conlon. But then, for Rivaldo or Ronaldo, Reed Henderson. The goal of the season contended to win it for Hartlepool in a fitting way to lift his team into a playoff place. Time continues. Ian Clark opened the scoring after just nine minutes at Lincoln, and a goal in each half sealed the win. Tommy Miller wrapped things up. Plenty of festive cheer for Hartlepool. Six points out of six for them over Christmas. Lincoln lost both of their games. A late fight back raised home hopes in this one, but Paul Miller's goal wasn't enough to alter the result. Hartlepool have moved into the top five. New year, but the same old routine for Chris Turner's Hartlepool. They can't stop winning. They took the lead against Rochdale from a fifth-minute penalty. A real muddy battle in the box. Keith Hill blatantly handled the ball and Tommy Miller stepped up to fire in the opener. Poole could have been two up when Rochdale keeper Neil Edwards tried to outpace Sam Shilton. 
skidded up without regretting it, but Ian Clark's shot hit the post before the visitors scrambled clear. There was a bumper crowd of just under 4,500 at Victoria Park, but most of them were left stunned on the 18th minute. Chris Westwood with the own goal, and it was back to square one for Hartlepool. They came close to regaining a first-half lead, but it was one all going into the break. Soon after the restart, a superb effort from Gary Jones made it 2-1. That's now his fourth goal in six games. And eight minutes later, Hartlepool added their third, a scramble in the box. It was quickly turning into a mud bath, and Ian Clark fired in. 3-1 up and a home win seemed certain, but Rochdale pulled one back. Tony Ellis beating Martin Holland. And in the end, Hartlepool had Holland to thank. Some fine late saves kept the score 3-2 in their favour. That's now a maximum 12 points from their last four games. Hartlepool fifth in the third division, one point behind Darlington. Oh. Chris Turner was chasing five wins out of six for high-flying Hartlepool, and Gary Jones duly set the visitors on their way midway through the first half. But Hartlepool had to play most of the second half with ten men. Ian Clark's challenge on Robbie Painter earned him his second bookable offence, and it was uphill from then on in. Just as a win seemed within touching distance, despair for Turner, Gary Strodder judged to have pulled back Lee Potter in the box, and just to rub salt on the wounds, former pool favourite John Cullen stepped up to slot home the spot kick. Frustration at the Shea, Hartlepool settling for a point. There were fears that Kevin Henderson had suffered a broken leg and broken ribs after this first half challenge with Carlisle's Tony Hopper. Hartlepool manager Chris Turner was so concerned he went onto the pitch to see for himself the damage caused. But after spending the night at Hartlepool General Hospital, Henderson has escaped with ligament damage to his ankle. Poole were chasing their sixth league win in nine games, but neither side threatened in a poor first half. But Tommy Miller sent most of Victoria Park wild with his 13th strike of the season. Chris Turner's side aimed to close the gap with Darlington to just one point, and they held on. It's finished 1-0, Hartlepool's Martin Holland recording his first clean sheet since December the 4th. Hartlepool's winner came in injury time, but it was well worth the wait. 17-year-old sub Adam Boyd with the first-class finish. Manager Chris Turner showing his delight. That was Boyd's first ever league goal. No relegation scrap this time round, but Poole still needed the points at home park. Plymouth took a first-half lead through Paul McGregor, but Sam Shilton levelled on the hour mark at the club where he started his career and Dad Peter was once the boss. Poole emerging victorious, Paul Stevenson's cracker after seven minutes. 29 minutes gone and Hartlepool were two up, Graham Lee's header and Poole were cruising. But just five minutes later, a howler from Martin Holland made it 2-1. Carlo Carozzin's flick on was fumbled, embarrassment for Holland, time to hide in the corner and contemplate. But Hartlepool held on, 2-1 winners and the playoff stakes are raised once again. Quaker James Coppinger capped his Hartlepool debut with a fine display against Barnett. The 19-year-old on loan from Newcastle came on as sub in the 61st minute. 12 minutes later, he was on the score sheet. He could have put Poole two up minutes later, but after rounding the keeper, he struck into the side netting. A missed chance that proved costly. Once again, one of the region's teams fell to a last-minute fight back. Ken Charlery's 90th minute header, 1-1, and Poole still hanging on to a playoff place. Torquay entertained Darlington tomorrow, fresh from defeat at Victoria Park. Another cliched six-pointer, Paul Stevenson's strike finding the net after just ten minutes. The visitors did come close to levelling as half-time beckoned, but Martin Holland was having none of it. And the crucial second goal came 13 minutes from the end. Graham Lee's clinical finish, Chris Turner's side holding on to a playoff place. Watch this goal a few times, and that is definitely handball. The referee missed it. Double handball followed by a single-handed goal. Tony Hemmings fired Chester in front. It wasn't going well for Hartlepool. Chester are the league's bottom club.
The referee may have missed the handball, but he was close enough to spot this challenge. Ian Clark was the pool player feeling the studs. Darren Moss was the home lad wearing the boots and shown the red card. So with the worst club in the table reduced to 10 men, Hartlepool had the chance to hit back for a point. It came thanks to Lee Fitzpatrick. 1-1. Now for the bad news. Out of Division 3 by the back door. Now they could be on their way out of the front, but sometimes you get the feeling the fans here like nothing better than a good old relegation scrap. Just over 2,500 at Victoria Park saw veteran Noel Blake put Exeter in front, but Poole turned it around with two goals inside a minute. First from local lad Paul Arneson, his first in league football. No wonder his teammates could hardly catch him. Like the team, Ian Clark's had to put up with more than his share of the stick from the terraces, but when he scores, they do tend to be pretty good ones. 2-1 to Poole, they're only just outside the playoff zone on goal difference. Hartlepool have been wobbling in recent weeks, so nothing less than a win would do against Lincoln, and the points were in the bag before half-time. Kevin Henderson's header gave them an early lead. The Imps were a bit limp, to be honest, and Tommy Miller's first goal in two months killed them off. With four games to go, Poole are now one point and one place away from the playoffs. We might yet see another North East team at Wembley. Chris Turner's side certainly rose to the occasion at Boothbury Park. One up inside two minutes, Graham Lee with the header, and Hartlepool found themselves two up barely six minutes later. Paul Stevenson's free kick was glanced in by James Coppinger, and the celebrations were just getting started. Poole, though, were down to ten men after 29 minutes. Gary Strodder sent off after a challenge from behind. But Hartlepool continued to dominate, and Kevin Henderson forced the ball home from close range. 3-0 at half-time, and that was how it finished. An anxious wait for the fans, but Cheltenham and Torquay had both lost. Poole were into the playoff semi-finals for the first time in their history. People remember this afternoon, I think, for a number of years, whatever happens against Darlington in the, in the playoffs. We go into the playoffs, we don't fear Darlington. We've played them twice, haven't got beaten. Give them two very good games, and, and I think it's going to be great for the North East. We know 